if you're looking for a cheaper AI model for coding, but you still don't want to compromise on the performance and the quality of code that your AI model is writing, then this video is for you. Instead of recommending one AI model for coding, I recommend you two AI models to add into your Vibe coding or flow. The first AI model is GPT-5 mini and the second AI model is Croc Code Fast 1. So GPT-5 mini has a 400,000 context window and it costs $0.25 per million input tokens and $2 per million output tokens. But this AI model is not great for coding. So that's why I recommend you using GPT-5 mini for planning because this AI model is great at planning. It has got 400,000 context window. So this AI model is great at planning whatever you are building, whatever resources you have, whatever documentation you are using. This AI model can actually analyze everything and then generate detailed planning documents for you. And then you can hand it over to the next AI model that you're gonna use to write code so the model that you should use for coding is grok code fast one this is one of the best AI model out there for coding and this AI model cost only 0.20 dollars per million input tokens and 1.50 dollars per million output tokens and this model has 256,000 context window i usually don't believe on any of the benchmarks comparison so i won't do that what i will do i will just start testing all of those models right here inside this real project and then we'll see how those models actually perform in a real project now you can use any open source ai agents out there to write code for you you can use either Klein or you can use something like kilo code or something like Ru code you can use any of those AI coding agents out there and then you can just like start using those AI models in these AI coding agents as you know that these AI coding agents won't cost you anything kilo code is free to use and Klein is free to use as well but these days my favorite one is kilo code so that's why I'm just going to use kilo code so this is an empty Nexus project that I just created right now and now what I'm going to do I'm going to open kilo code and first we are going to do planning for this project we are going to like create something and then we're going to like do planning for this project for planning what i'm going to do i'm going to use gpt5 mini so i'll just look for gpt5 mini make sure that you have installed kilo code make sure that you have logged in into kilo code and then make sure as an api provider you are either using something like kilo code or you can use it directly through something like open router right now i'm going to use it through kilo code but if you don't have kilo code credits you can use it through open router so just make sure that you choose open router and then provide your open router api key if you are an absolute beginner and you don't know how to get open router api key just go to openrouter.ai sign up and then just go to the api key section and then you can simply just create an api key and that's it that that's what you need to do now once everything is set up and you have selected gpt5 mini simply just click on save and now gpt5 mini selected you can now click on this new task button to start a new task so let's just give it a simple prompt so i'm going to give it this prompt you are inside an empty nexus project i want to develop an attendance tracker tool for my remote employees this is just like a random idea and it should have integration with project management tools something like jira or any other project management tool you are using you can mention that as well and it should have integration with slack as well so that's our original idea so the next step is please create a detailed plan, detailed documentation and detailed features list. Also create an implementation plan with code samples for each feature. Please don't start writing code for all these documents. Make sure to create .md file in project directory. If you have a certain folder inside your project, we can mention that directory like slash docs or something, but it is going to like create maybe in a root directory of our project folder. So that's it. And now we can just like press enter and now our AI model is going to create a detailed plan with all of the required documents and all of the required files that we have requested. Okay, so perfect. You can see it has already just created this particular file, which is attendance tracker specs.md file, which it created inside this docs folder. And it's a very detailed document. It has this overview section, goal section, user roles, then high level architecture, and then features that include core attendance, integrations, team views and approvals, reporting and analysis, audit and security, notifications and reminders, admin and settings. So all of these features it has in here. You can see it's a very detailed document with some code samples so that is amazing okay so perfect in just few minutes it has created all of these documentation files in here you can see if you just go to this particular folder which is docs it has just like created this docs folder in here and then there are these four different files in here the attendance feature.md attendance tracker plan.md attendance tracker specs.md and implementation guideline so all of these files create detailed documentation and detailed planning 
to implement every single feature of our tool you can see in implementation guide.md there are some code samples as well and there is a very detailed implementation guideline so once your planning phase is ready next step is to now start writing code and actually start developing all of those features and now let's just move to grok code fast so i'll just go back to my project and then let's just go back to kilo code and then just go to settings and then now we can change it to grok code fast one okay so there it is grok code fast one and now let's just maybe start a new chat you are inside nexus project please review slash docs folder to understand what we are building and then start developing the features as per the guidelines one by one please keep the documentation implementation document updated to keep track of the development progress so this is the simple prompt you are inside an access project please review documents folder to understand what we are building and then start developing the features as per the guidelines one by one please keep the implementation document updated to keep track of the development progress that's it now let's just press enter and now let's just see how our grok code fast one will perform so now you can see it is reading the multiple files all of the files which are inside this documentation folder and now you can see first it has created this to-do list in this to-do list the first thing is to review documents and understanding the project and it has done that next step is project setup database prisma sqlite auth and authentication that's the first phase and now it has already started developing this first phase first it is installing this package for prisma then it is installing the next auth package and then it is installing this package which is prisma adopter you can see it is running this command and it is asking me to run this command i can simply press on run and now it can just run this command and install all of these required packages and then it will just like carry on development so yeah, right now you can see all of the packages are installed already and now it has started making changes in code it has just created this schema.prisma file to create the database schema for a project and then it is going to create this generate this prisma schema so i can simply just click on that and now it will just like run this command to generate one more thing that i need to mention in here the first task that we just performed using gpt5 mini it costed only 0.04 dollars so the cost for whole planning phase was only 0.04 dollars is mind-blowing so this is my new method if you are doing wipe coding and you are looking for like cheaper ai models but you still need similar kind of performance and you do not want to pay too much money for it so i think this is the best method out there to do wipe coding cost effectively if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i see you next video Bye.